I'm here today in the small university town of Lampeter in Mid Wales, and we're actually in the town hall building. And I'm joined by Jen Jones. Now, Jen, you're known very much for your love of antique Welsh quilts, but here we are surrounded by something very modern. Mm -hmm. Well, semi-surrounded. I mean, the very modern are hanging over our heads mostly. Um, the antique Welsh ones that I love uh, and know are on the walls. But we're going to go wander around and see those in, in later. A, in later. Yes. yes. So tell us what was your inspiration about bringing Cafe to Wales? Well, I admire him uh, well a great deal. I think his colour and design are just wonderful. I don't sew, I don't knit, I don't embroider. So anybody who can do all three uh, is uh, quite amazing to me. And um, I was lucky enough to meet him uh, at a talk I was giving in London. And um, at the end of the talk, uh, I threw it out to questions and somebody said, do you do workshops? And I said, we do, and we have a, a very high standard. I said, I can't always find the very best because we're in West Wales and it is difficult to persuade people to come to us. And he chuckled and I was looking straight at him. And afterwards he came up and said, just ring my office, will you? And um, so I, instead of ringing the office, I wrote a letter and proposed an exhibition as opposed to just a workshop or a lecture. And he came down to see our exhibition last year, loved it here, loved what we were doing, and said, look, I'll just send you a bunch of quilts. OK, and so 21 <laughs> quilts later. Oh, more, um, because there are d the ones in the hall, or also right. it is. And uh, he said, you don't have to use them all. And we ended up not using only one. Oh, fantastic. Which was amazing. And that's because it was almost entirely dark, very dark, and a lot of black. And I thought, or oh, Gwent Leanne, our wonderful, wonderful exhibition designer, Gwently Ann Ashley, um, decided that there was no way we could fit it in. It didn't quite yes, work. Yes. No. no, sometimes that happens, yeah, doesn't it? it does. Yes. So tell us a, a bit about some of the qu lovely quilts that we're surrounded by. Well, I mean, where to begin? Uh, they're mainly his own fabrics, yes. which everybody knows and loves. Um, the exceptions are uh, one quilt from the b &A book that he did, it's based on a V&A quilt, and it's called the Compass Quilt. Okay. That is Liberty Fabrics. Uh, then there is the applique one that he did that I love a lot with uh, all the little jugs and people. Oh, and there are two little people on that quilt uh, that were one of his very favorite shirts. And when it wore out, he recycled it into the recycled quilt. The fits, and yes. he tells that story beautifully. And then the other one, a very early cave, is the hat boxes that everybody knows. But the one in this exhibition is one that he did very early on. And the archives in Yorkshire own that one. And it, it was loaned to us through them. And that's French fabrics.